Pacific Pan riding on BMX bicycles. I guess you fell into the wrong hands, yeah. I go and try to, you know, bag a couple of hoes. Yeah. Show my outfit off. I talk to some of the homies. Okay. Get the fuck up out of there. I feel like I'm one of the best content like artists out right now, yes. You can receive bonus points for creating one large mosh pit. That's that soda, eyes of color, Coca Cola can. Pretty motherfucker pull up in this bitch like. I'm camel down to my boxes. Go tea. A bathe the name. Berg next, I'm next. Yo, yeah. my 16. Hey, yo, no one hey, on yeah. the corner has swagger like I do. It's church with the verse. I'm going to hit him with the gospel. Right. Hit him with the rifle. I'm higher than the Eiffel. Right. Sour. Hustle hard and snow, sleep shower. Right. Ain't hey. worried about who's hot and who's hotter. Like crabs in the barrel trying to pull you to the bottom. What exactly does the term ASAP even mean? Well, if you're wondering, it stands for always strive and prosper. Now, where the hell is Rocky even from? Well, Rockham Myers, a.k.a. ASAP Rock, Rocky was born in 116th Street in Harlem back in 88. His name Rakim was actually given to him by his dad from the rap duo Eric B and Rakim. Rocky's dad was a drug dealer and from the ages 11 to 14, his dad went to jail and that's when him and his mom ended up at a homeless shelter in Astoria, Queens. I had read that you lived in a, in a shelter when you was younger. Yeah. I lived in a shelter too. For real? Yeah. Mine's on the hunt fourth and Broadway. Oh wow. I don't remember where mine's was. It was in Queens somewhere. I don't, I don't remember. Because we had, first we was in Queens. Okay. And How old was you around that time? Like 11. Wow, okay. Yeah. I was there a lot younger. That's probably why I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I was like maybe six, five. Oh, no. Nah, I was yeah. 11 all the way to wow. like 14 in the show. 11 to 14? Yeah, yeah, man. What was that like? Because for me. It was me, trash. For me. It was all right, though. Oh, yeah. Niggas was poor. It's just you couldn't bring niggas to your house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, like, it was. It, it was when I was out the shelter, yeah. lifestyle was the same. Right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> same yeah. struggles and everything. At the age of 13, his brother was actually killed. And by the age of 15, he would spend most of his time in the Bronx and started dealing more serious drugs like crack. If anybody tell you that they that they had a fun son, they lying. And it's corn. Corn. You shit is what on me. I did it because that's all I had to do. You know, like my mom had like an apartment in the Bronx. And, you know, we were really from Harlem. And I used to stay at my grandma's. By the time 2006 came around, Rocky was rolling with a clique named MDB before joining ASAP. He was the only one in his crew that was dressing like how he was with the skinny jeans, designer brands that your average person probably won't know about like Rick Owens, Raph Simmons, Supreme, etc. While the other dudes in the clique was rocking your typical New York fit, bruh. A Mermont coat, polos, Nautica, you name it. Probably had the Tims to go along with it too. So basically, he sort of just drifted away from the crew because they weren't really understanding what kind of wave he was on. Till he saw the dudes in ASAP hanging out in Harlem and saw that there was some getting fly dudes just trying to get the girls just like how he was now how did asap come to be tell me about when you first met yams yeah all right so motherfuckers don't know this story yeah when i first joined asap i, did, I probably joined around like 06 yeah going into 07 i think asap started with yams this this kid named haiti mm -hmm. bari Ills, yeah. This girl that we had lee lee lills with us yeah juice mm -hmm. and kd okay Kadeem and everybody was, you know, I'm missing, I'm probably missing like one or two names, but this, those are the original. Oh, geez. Interestingly enough, though, Rocky said that if he wasn't rapping, he would be an interior designer. What, what would that look like? A mixture of like Tim Burton's world. Okay. Mixed with Alice in Wonderland 
Wes Anderson infusion with Rocky slapped on it. To your gold digger, but who am I to judge her? We a butter law, nigga, who am I to cuff her? Cause obvious she want me, nigga, you can try to fuck her. I be swimming in these women, none of scuba dive but love her. Damn, that's some rare ass footage right there, bro. What's even more rare is this music video I'm about to show you of him and Ferg back in 2010. It's honestly interesting to look back at these clips, just seeing how different the fashion was. That whole era was just different, bro, especially in New York. Um, I go by the name Pretty Flacco. Right here is we got Addy. ASAP Ant, Mr. Coke and White Bitches. Yeah. We got, um, right here we got the young beat maker. ASAP Top Beats, man. <laughs> right here we got the Fergenstein. ASAP Ferg, you already know. Right here we got the Good Goon. ASAP Toby, what up? Right here we got the White Gold Slugger. ASAP Lou. Right here we got the DJ, ASAP J Scott. Right here we got the nasty baby cracking the sock. Already, nigga, say your name, motherfucker. What the fuck? New York nasty baby cracking the sock, nineties nigga. <laughs> right here, right here we got the goofiest motherfucker I know. What he say? His name is Dirty Flacco or some shit. Dirty Flacco, brother. <laughs> and he balances water on his head. He he could fuck bitches while while he got the water on on his head. Like it'll be balanced on his head while he hitting it from the back, fucking bitches, and it won't fall. Right here we got the brose right here. Tell him your name, Brody. Yo, what it do? I'm ASAP AV. The shadow. The shadow. <laughs> the shadow king. ASAP Rocky's buzz was crazy in the second half of the year of 2011. Once he dropped Purple Swag, that's when the underground scene really started to take notice of Rocky. Then a month later, he drops Peso, which is another classic. Both were produced by ASAP Ty Beats, by the way. Now, we can't really talk about ASAP's come up without mentioning a man by the name of Space Ghost Perp. For those who don't know who that is, he's an underground legend, bruh. A producer and one of the pioneers of the cloud rap genre, along with Clams Casino and others. He's worked with artists in ASAP Mob, of course, and with many of the members of the Raider Clan, which included Denzel Curry. He was featured on ASAP's debut mixtape, Live Love ASAP, which really felt like an album. That's how good it was, on two different songs. And also produced one of the dopest beats of that era, Pretty Flacco. Talking my shit, what? Uh, uh. Skinny nigga, pretty flacco. Nigga gripping that chopper. He has been getting a lot of flack though over the last five years or so, and he kind of ruined his reputation from all the bipolar tweets and Instagram lives. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about your gay ass. You're a faggot. And I'm not. I'm a heterosexual ass nigga. And he pretty much fell off, to be honest, since he hasn't really done anything in the music industry in years. But during these times, man, it was legendary. So what happened to him and ASAP? Well, they were super tight at first. In fact, ASAP even calls him his twin in this clip. It's my twin, Space Ghost motherfucking Perks. Uh, <laughs> By the time Peso came out, Perks like, saw it and was just like, yo, y'all niggas do hieroglyphics, all this yeah. other shit. I'm like, yo, bro, you know, you gotta fuck with us after or after talking on the phone and talking on like Skype after a while. The nigga finally decided to come live with us. So yeah. we picked him up from the fucking bus station and shit like wow. that. This nigga had on some colorful Miami Dolphin looking wow. shit on. We got his swag right, you know what I mean? Threw the bandanas on him, threw black on the nigga. Took him to a few stores to get free clothes because we ain't had bread to take right, him to right, the nah, shop. Nah. So. But y'all knew the spot. Yeah, yeah. So we took, you right. yeah, we took him to Mishka. Mm -hmm. We took him to we took him to Mishka. We took him to Black Scale. We yeah. took him to Sir. You know, prohibit all that other shit. So, nigga, his clothes is right and shit. Yeah. Him and uh, Ty Beats was living with me at the time. Ace that Ty Beats. He produced Purple Swag and all that other shit and, and pesos. Mm -hmm. So me and Ty Beats is in this one room living together. Then Perk lived with us. Now it's three niggas in a one Damn. like bedroom thing. Right, right. Living with my mom. And I think once shit like I was already blowing up, but yeah. once I I think that was around the time when like the, the Perp niggas started talking crazy. He went back home and just switched up for no reason on some like right. on some for no reason shit. You know, and I and I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. Like when he left, yeah. niggas everybody from what we know, we was all on 
great term. I'm talking about right, right. this nigga would out of nowhere just start crying for some, sometimes and he was sad and the truth is I think he was homesick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think he was with a bunch of niggas and he wanted to, you know, he seen what was going on and you know, next thing I know, drama started. He started telling niggas I only tried to give him fifty thousand dollars and sign him, and I gave yeah. everybody an ASAP five hundred thousand yeah. dollars to sign. Him. I'm like, nigga, I'm not no major label. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, give everybody yeah. five hundred thousand dollars. Like, you only had like, a three million dollar deal. Deal, like, you know what I'm saying? And, so, and half of that this, was to start like, ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hate it. Uh, Do yeah. the math. You feel not what I'm saying? Not enough members that's for everyone not, to get it's that. It's not. It's not. It's a little check for everybody to get started yeah. up. Yeah. And what you do from that is on you. You exactly. get what I'm saying? But Which was sad niggas, because at the time, it's like... It was a dynasty. It happens with every... Everybody. Every, every, no, everybody. every magic duo. Mm. You know what I mean? Yo, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Yeah. Space Ghost Perp and Top Beats taught me how to produce in 2011. They taught me how wow. to make beats, my nigga. Wow. That's the first niggas who taught me how to make beats. Yeah. This is this is facts. I'll I'll admit this on camera, bro. But wow. but the thing is he came and told niggas he taught me how to rap. He taught me how to dress. He taught me yeah. how to swag and it's like bro, I didn't right, meet right. you till I was no, lit, nigga. No, Pesos. I met you after that video came out physically. You know what I'm saying? You lived with us for six months, bro. Like, don't make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like some shit is not, you know? That's so that's my thing, is just like I can never talk about this because I'm blowing up, and if I talk about it, I'm make this put more light on this right, nigga. Right, right. Obviously, you know, Tom prevails. If if he made me make another you, make another me. Yeah, yeah. None of his niggas fuck with him in the crew because they realized that he was manipulating them and you know what I'm saying doing all this other shit like. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, man. From what I've seen and kind of remembering it from back then. Raider Clan and those boys kinda were already rolling with the whole black clothes and hieroglyphics and all that. It did seem like Rocky was stealing his swag a bit. I'm just being fair about all this, and it does seem like the community feels the same way. I mean, look at all these comments under the video of ASAP saying all that. I don't know man, you be the judge. He even stole lyrics from a perp song in 2011 on the 2012 hit, Goldie. So yeah, pretty crazy. If you guys want the full in-depth analysis on this whole Rocky and Perp beef, I highly suggest you go watch Trap Law Ross's video on all this, after this video of course, and you subscribe to your boy. But anyways. Yo, can we all just have a second to appreciate how great this mixtape was and still is? Who you know had a better debut mixtape though? Who? Let me know in the comments because I can't think of anyone right now. Shit, maybe Joey Badass with his 1999 tape, but other than that, I don't really know. But this tape is album quality, man. This tape put ASAP on the map. That same month he released that mixtape, ASAP signed a two-year, $3 million deal with RCA Records and Polo Grounds Music, as well as creating ASAP Worldwide alongside ASAP Yams. The single Goldie was released in April of 2012 in anticipation for his debut album, ASAP Rocky Forever. Wait, 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 hold up. That's not the name, right? Yeah, man, let's talk about it. ASAP Rocky Forever Part 1. Who said that was the name of my album? Who? They're lying. Wow. Yeah. Who said that? But you're the second person that told me. Please clarify. Who? Uh, I no, know. I don't have an album called ASAP Rocky Forever. The name of my album there. coming out is Long Live ASAP. Did they say that. a release date? Okay. March? Is that is that not right? My album comes out in July. Rocky would drop one of his biggest songs to date with f***ing problems towards the end of 2012 as another single for his album. And that song was a smash hit bruh peaking at number eight and lasted 27 weeks on the charts get like me never met a motherfucker fresh like me rocky's debut album long live asap actually didn't drop in july like he wanted it actually dropped in january of 2013 but in fact and i remember this too bro rocky's entire album leaked bruh a month before release and i ain't gonna lie i downloaded that shit so fast bro despite that though the album still sold 139,000 copies first week the album is a classic and has so many bangers on it with pussy money weed long live asap level one train wild for the night angels like bro come on bro Trigger finger itch and fuck her rent to supervision. Yeah, you claim you rage, you hate it like you live in Oakland. Tell my ASAP killers, get they pistols ready. Send them to the cemetery with obituaries. Tango chains, wood, grain.
Bang propane. The funny thing is though, Rocky said in an interview that he actually hates the songs Wild for the Night and Effing Problems. So that's why I made songs like Wild for the Night and Effing Problems. I hate those songs. <laughs> I do. And to be honest, I might have to agree with them, bro. They are classics, but I just don't like going back to them. It's kind of worn out. 2013 was one of Rocky's best years as he just had a successful album and Ferg had a huge single with Shaba, which ASAP bodies, bro. Classic shit. Skinny nigga but my dick long. Stink puss me my dick soft. Fuck niggas gonna multiply. Fuck with a nigga like me. I my nigga Pimp C. In 2014, other than that Multiply track, which is one of my favorites by the way, he didn't really do much musically. He was on that Hella Hoes ASAP Mob track, but I'm sure that whole year he was in album mode, getting ready for a second album at long last ASAP. Although unfortunately, in January of 2015, one of the founders of ASAP Worldwide, the legend himself, ASAP Yams, tragically passed away. Not only was that a huge blow to the mob and Rocky, it was a huge blow to the culture, bro. He was always promoting Rocky's music, the mob's music, setting trends, and without him, there would be no ASAP mob. Rest in peace to ASAP Yams, man. Oh. Uh. Yeah. ASAP Rocky's At Long Last ASAP is damn near a masterpiece in my opinion. Every song on here is just a vibe bro, from Canal Street to LSD to Excuse Me to Better Things, bruh. It's just amazing all around. The album got some pretty high scores from critics, debuted at number one, and sold 146,000 copies first week. Rat gang like the crack gang, swear it's all the same. Awesome. Okay, excuse me, Mr. Bill Collector, I got problems. My dick stay up in your chick, rock stick without a license. Tell her hold on like some bikes, cause might just call her. In June of that year, ASAP actually made his acting debut in the movie Dope. And no pun intended, bruh, but that movie is dope. And ASAP does his thing on there too. This shit started somewhere like Pakistan or some shit. Before you know it, they start saying that we're the terrorists. Yeah, I'm getting cake. Yeah, it's no debate. Yeah, I found a cake. 2016 was a bit of a quiet year musically for him, but the mob did drop the Cozy Tapes Volume 1, which was a decent tape. Order be long. Color orange mango label rotary phone. Let's see who next on my homie list. Cardi like Rocky, you body this. I done came up, busting down a whole bag. Two best friends at the same time. 2017 was a decent year for Rocky 2 as we were anticipating the release of his next album, Testing. The Cozy Tapes 2 dropped in the summer of that year and I thought it was a lot better than the first tape. Something about it, I just think the songs were executed better, the vibes, the features, it's just got more memorable songs for me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Injured Generation Tour. This is an interactive experience. During the show you will be given commands. You must obey these commands. Next we will demonstrate. Mush with you. Smile. Frown. Good, now that you understand the rules, let's begin. Testing was finally released on May 25th, 2018, to some decent reviews, I guess. It debuted at number 4 and sold 75,000 copies first week. A lot less from his previous tape, but still solid numbers. But I do think people are really starting to appreciate it a bit more now. At least I know I am. This album is probably one of his best tapes, to be honest. The whole aesthetic for it is fire, too. With songs like Tony Tone, Kids Turned Out Fine, Buckshots, F Sleep, Praise the Lord, Bruh, ASAP Forever, Guns and 
and Butter, like, this is really a solid ass album. Rocky even described the album to be like his Yeezus. It's like you either love it or hate it, which I can agree with, because most people I speak to either love it or hate it. I could give a fuck about a list. About a yeah. Yeah. Had a roll in alcohol. Yeah. The teachers called the doctor call. Real niggas wanna run real. Uh, real bullshit. Fuck popo, police, enemies, fake homies. Pockets loaded, rocket loaded, can't let's rock and roll this. My eyes like the stars, I tell that bitch cover your eyes, cause fucking with me you go blind. Swinging brown and tires, leave the third degree. ASAP Rocky has been enjoying the hospitality of Sweden for three weeks now. This morning, Swedish prosecutors yeah, making the decision to charge rapper ASAP Rocky and two others of assault. In a statement, prosecutors saying, despite claims of self-defense and provocation, the three men will remain in jail until the trial. ASAP arrested while in the country to perform in a music festival. Man, that whole Sweden situation was wild, bro. I'm sure y'all saw the video by now with Rocky telling the camera we don't want no problem problems and they kept following them bruh so they beat that ass it is what it is had donald trump involved boy was locked up for weeks shit was crazy and his lawyer even got shot bro in the head what kind of shit anyways he finally got out a few weeks later and he ended up doing a free show in sweden boy that shit was so lit <laughs> In August of that year, 2019, he dropped a Lucy single, Babushka Boy. Say cheese for the cameras, and cheese for the dancers. He actually said it's not a single for his next album, it's just a song that's out there. Now where are we at with ASAP in 2020? Nothing too crazy, but he was on Lil Yachty's album Lil Boat 3 on the song TD, which is Flames. Back to the band of I Tokyo drift like the sample. So yeah, ASAP Rocky. Not gonna lie, after making this documentary, I kinda became more of a fan of his. That's kinda why I love doing these, because all the research I do and songs I discover just makes me become more of a fan. He's such a dope artist and has so many bangers under his belt. I'm really looking forward to his next project. It's supposedly gonna be called All Smiles, so we'll see. He needs to drop that though, like ASAP. Like not always striving prosper, like, you know, like as soon as po no? I right, right, I'm out. Peace. Live through the struggling. Life's an everyday hustle. I'm camel down in my boxes. Why the fuck you looking? What's your problem? There that girl, my new bitch. I got time to make excuses, bro. We steady making moves. Yeah. Who the jiggy nigga with the goal links? They gon' take me back to my old way. Except in it from the back, fucking right. bitches, and it won't fall. We got that directly. Right here, we got the brose right here. You know, tell him your name, Brody. Yo, what it do? I'm ASAP AV. I'm ASAP AV. Yo, what it do? I'm ASAP AV. In it from the back, fucking right. bitches, and it won't fall. We got that directly. Right here, we got the brose right here. You know, tell him your name, Brody. Yo, what it do? I'm ASAP AV. Yo, what it do? I'm ASAP AV.